So don't be confused. People become depressed and they lose their faith in Allah. A few days ago, someone said, call out to your Allah, let him bring the aircraft. Are you not sensitive? Are you not sensitive of the feelings of those who are affected? May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant a miracle to us. I mean. But my brothers and sisters, be careful. Call out to your Allah, they say, to bring it back. Well, to be honest with you, I answered the man in another way. I said, what do you believe in? Call out to whoever you believe in and let's see if he brings it along. I can throw it back at you exactly the same. One man told me we are sick because we are Muslimin. I said, I know a lot of people who follow other faiths who have even deeper illnesses than us. And the same sickness. It's not franchised or it's not only because you're a Muslim that you're going through this. There are others who don't even believe in the faith who are going through perhaps the same or worse. But it's, it depends how you look at it. It depends how you look at your challenge. So a person with Iman will have the same sickness as a person without Iman, but he is going through it in a content fashion. It brings him closer to Allah, whereas the one without Iman, it drifts him further away. This is why we say one of the issues of confusion is when we have a crisis, when we have a problem, we need to resolve it bearing in mind it's an opportunity to get close to Allah. We do not resolve it getting closer to shaitan. You know, sometimes when a person is sick and may Allah protect us, may Allah grant us cure. I'm just using one example, but it can happen even to those who have had financial difficulty or any other form of difficulty. Let's use the issue of sickness because everyone at some stage gets sick. So we go to the doctor, we try this, we try that. Then someone comes and tell us, okay, try this, try something else, you know, try this medication, perhaps which is herbal. And Alhamdulillah, we try it and sometimes we are cured, but sometimes people are not cured and they don't understand it's the plan of Allah. And Allah has kept your duty to look after your health. And at a certain point, Allah takes away even those who are very healthy. You will still go away. You will still have to leave. So what happens is after a while in our desperation to get better, we begin to do things that are totally unacceptable and the excuse we use but i need to get better it's my health come on no matter who is going to cure me it's okay ultimately i say bismillah then i engage in hocus pocus wow. is that what it is is that what i should be doing so what was the belief in allah when allah says وَمَا كَفَرَ سُلَيْمَانُ وَلَكِنَّ الشَّيَاطِينَ كَفَرُوا يُعَلِّمُونَ النَّاسَ السِّحْرِ Allahu Akbar. People called Sulaiman a disbeliever, alayhi salatu wasalam. Allah says, Sulaiman was not a disbeliever, but the devils were the ones who disbelieved by teaching people magic. So there is an acknowledgement in Islam of magic. It exists, it is there. But to partake in it, to engage in it, to do it and to be associated with it is what is totally prohibited. It can actually take you out of the fold of belief in Allah. So it is there. The jinn exist. We don't deny that. This is why the last two surahs of the Quran, if only we knew the meanings of it, we would then be able to understand and we won't be confused. But the problem is we read Do you know what it means? The problem is, I just know that it will give me protection from the devil. But find out what it means as well. And you need to know when you read it, concentrate on the meaning. Then you see your confusion will go because there are people who read the surahs and they continue reading everything. But they are the first people who go to witch doctors and fortune tellers. And they are the ones who would claim that it's because I'm in a desperate situation that I'm doing this. But Allah says, who is there besides Allah that responds the call of the distressed when he is in distress? Who, who responds the call of the one who is in distress besides Allah? It is Allah who responds correctly. And this is why my brothers and sisters, remember when you are in distress, 
Do not turn to those besides Allah in a way that will displease Allah. You might want to go to the doctor. You might want to ask someone's help. You might want to seek 